you've got to get this done before the election, and there's generally about 50, 60, 70 days between the time a uh, president nominates somebody and we get a hearing in committee, and then another two weeks before it gets to the floor, and this has to be done before the November election. So my uh, message to any one of the nine Supreme Court justices, if you're thinking about quitting this year, do it yesterday. Hans von Spakowski is a senior legal fellow at Heritage Foundation and former counsel to the assistant attorney general at the Justice Department. So, Hans, let's talk about the senator's calculus behind his plea. Is it just to avoid being in the middle of the nomination and confirmation process come November, or is there more behind it? Well, I think what's going on here is that he, he may have said, uh, he was talking about the nine justices, but this is aimed clearly at Justice Kennedy. Look, for two years now, rumors have been swirling that Justice Kennedy is thinking about resigning, not any of the liberal justices. And so what he's basically telling uh, Kennedy is, look, if you want to resign, you need to do it now. The reason being that uh, Democrats in the Senate have been doing everything they can to slow down the confirmation process, to try to delay it as much as possible. And if we want to get a new justice in before the next term of the court starts in October, it would have to happen very quickly. And, of course, uh, those on the other side of this uh, political aisle would say, you know what, uh, the conservatives are known to have in the past block nomination process. So Associate Justice Anthony Kennedy, as you mentioned, he's going to be 82 in July. He, right. You know, look, we know that he's considering uh, retiring when his current term expires next month. Might the midterms be front of his mind in his decision-making? Well, sure, because, uh, you know, there's a chance that the Senate might change hands. And if Republicans and President Trump think they are having a hard time now getting nominees through, if the Democrats take over the, the Senate, then the nomination process is going to pr probably come to an almost complete standstill. Does the president have anyone on deck? Do you know? Well, he's, he's still got his long list of uh, j uh, judges and potential nominees that he's put out before. So I think the White House would move very, very quickly if one of the seats opened up on the Supreme Court. So if the Supreme Court remains intact by November, how might the current makeup of the Supreme Court affect the midterm elections? Well, remember, there were a lot of people, uh, and this was something uh, that not, not really happened for, a lot of voters said that uh, who was on the court and who would be able to choose who would be on the court to fill Justice Scalia's seat, that they considered that in the election. And if there were a resignation uh, any time before, say, shortly before the November election of, of one of the justices on the Supreme Court, I, I think that's something voters would look at because, you know, we're at a delicate balance on the court between conservatives and liberals, and I think people, uh, most voters, especially Trump supporters, uh -huh. would not want another liberal getting on the court. And Hans, finally, w what about the notion of not filling an empty Supreme Court seat during an election year? Well, that was something that Joe Biden came up in, with in 1992 when he was the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. But the reason he said that was because uh, George H.W. Uh, Bush was the president, and he didn't want a Republican naming another seat of the Supreme Court. The Democrats clearly don't believe in that principle, because remember, in 2016, when the Scalia seat was empty and President Obama put forward an, a nominee, Merrick Garland, the Democrats did everything they could to try to get him confirmed, although they weren't successful. So it all boils down to politics. Yes, exactly Per right. usual. <laughs> Von, Von Spakovsky, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, Hans, I got the other part right. I was focusing <laughs> on the Spakovsky part so much. Thanks, Hans. Sure thing. <laughs> All right, Hans, thanks. Well, we heard about this. Scientists now warning of a possible explosion at that erupting volcano in Hawaii. We'll have a live report on those news concerns and why a bad situation could get, they say,